What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up different collections inside of Shopify. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're inside of a demo store right here, and I've just got some a random assortment of products right here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and create um, collections to go ahead and organize um, different products together. So, if you don't know what collections are... Um, you can access it right here by going to products and then collections and a collection is just essentially a group of related products that helps make the um, browsing process a lot easier for your customers so I'm gonna go ahead and create three different collections in this video and I'm going to use three different methods of creating these collections so that way uh, you guys will learn how you can create a collection in each different manner so first off we're going to go ahead and get started so i'm going to be creating a collection for gaming so these two products right here and i'm going to be creating a collection for phone accessories so this one right here and this one right here and then i'm going to be creating a collection for gym stuff so these two right here and then lastly i'm going to be showing you how you can showcase these collections on the home page inside of your theme editor so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just make sure you know which products want you want to go ahead and group together into a collection. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and go over here to products and collections and get started. So once we're in here, most of the time you're going to have a default homepage collection, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So we're going to go up here to create collection. And once this loads in, we can see that we have a few options available right here. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and create is the gaming collection. So I'm going to just go ahead and put gaming right there. And then here we can go ahead and put a description if you want. However, you don't really have to put a description. We can just put a title. And we can put a collection image here as well. So if you have an image, if let's say you're trying to make a page for that collection alone and you want an image on top of that page is like a banner or something this is where you could put it but for this tutorial I'm not going to do that I'm going to just show you how to set up the basic collections so down here we can see that we have to select collection type so there's a couple different options we can do to set up the collection type so the first option we're going to do is going to be automated and it's going to be based off of one of these conditions down here so we can see that we can have two types we can either do it manually where we can add products to the collection one at a time or we can make it automated where existing and future products that we add to the cons to the store if they match these specific conditions then they're automatically going to be added to the collection so the first example I'm going to show you, we're going to do automated. So like I said, we're going to be doing the gaming products first. So for this first condition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the different conditions and I'm going to select product title. And then you can see we can make the product title equal or we can make it start with or ends with or contains so th there's a lot of different options we can do so in this case i'm going to do the product title contains and then the word gaming and if i go ahead and do that and then come down here and click save we'll see that this collection will go ahead and auto populate here so we can see right here the products in this collection are updated so i'm going to go ahead and wait a second and refresh this just to show you how it's going to automatically populate so we went ahead and refreshed it and we can see that now the two products that we have in our store the gaming headset and the gaming laptop have went ahead and automatically populated inside of here as well and let's say we were to add a new product that had the word gaming in the title it would also be automatically added to this collection as well so this is one way you can create a collection and it's pretty useful so the next thing I'm going to do is show you another automatic way that you can add um, products to a collection so what we're going to do now is I'm going to click create another collection and we're going to go ahead and do the iPhone accessories this time
and in this case I'm going to do product tag is equal to and for this to go ahead and work we're going to have to create product tags on these specific products that we want so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to all products I'm going to right click and open this in a new tab real quick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to these products we'll open up the iPhone case first and I'm going to check its tags so we can see we can add product tags right here so if I were to just put in iPhone and then just click add we can see that now this has a tag for iPhone and then I'll just go ahead and click save and I'm going to go ahead and go back to products and now I'm going to go down to the shatterproof screen cover and I'm going to give it the same tag and then I'm going to go ahead and click save alright so now that we've went ahead and created those product tags I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go in to just go ahead and type in the product tag that we just created which was iPhone and then we just go ahead and click save so we have product tag is equal to and then the tag of the products we want we're going to click save and now this collection is going to be created so I went ahead and refreshed the list that normally takes about 30 seconds and you can see that now this collection has also auto populated with the two iPhone accessories we have here and just like in the first example if we go ahead and add another new product with the tag of iPhone it's going to go ahead and auto populate into this collection right here so I'm going to go ahead and create one more collection and we're going to add the products manually this time so I'm going to go ahead and create another collection and just type in gym and then in this case we can just go ahead and click manual and then we'll click save right here and we're going to be able to add the products in in a second so what we can do now is right here under products we can go ahead and search for products in our store so we can go ahead and add the drawstring bag go ahead and add that or we can just click browse and browse all of our products right here and I'll go ahead and add this other product to it as well and there we go we can go ahead and do that and once you add the products it automatically updates so you don't want to click save and you can see that now we have went ahead and populated this collection manually now the only downside of doing it manually is that if you add new products new related products they're not going to be automatically added into this collection so you're going to have to go ahead and uh, manually add them in which is why normally using the automated methods based off of keywords or tags is going to be the way to go so now that you know how to create collections I'm going to quickly show you how you can add them to your home page so if we go over here to online store and click on themes we can come over here to customize the theme and you can see that most Shopify home pages are going to have a featured collection right here so we can see the featured collection section right here if we click on it we can go ahead and click change collection so if I click change and let's say I wanted to change it to the gaming and then I click select we can now see that my feature collection is now the gaming collection and let's say I wanted to add a completely um, separate collection alongside this I could go ahead and click add section and then we could do um, feature collection right here and then click add and then I would select the collection and in this case I could go ahead and add iPhone accessories this time and then click select and just like that we've went ahead and added another one and if I wanted it to be right under I could drag it up and now we go ahead and I have two separate collections right here added onto the home page so with that said um, that's going to be it for this video that's how you create collections within Shopify whether it's automated or manual and that's how you can go ahead and add these collections to the front page of your store if you found this video helpful go ahead and leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one